please do not adjust your set. I can assure you there is nothing wrong. Everything is exactly as it should be. Oh, this is amusing. I'll get into what this is and everything in just a moment. I'm just gonna send out just a couple of signal boost here. It is amusing watching this demo right now, though, I'm not even gonna lie. Wonder how it's gonna handle that. Alright, I think that should uh, do it for now. I'm just gonna get right down to business. Well, I thought I was, there we go. I thought, I, mean, I thought for a moment that my window might not have been focused. Uh, so I haven't actually checked this since I did this. I just want to make sure... Okay, nothing crazy has happened. <clears throat> so, in this particular episode kind of series that I'm going to start, it's going to be Mega Man X Randomizer. Um, so, I'll go ahead and give a fair warning right now. This may well not end well, and like I might have the incorrect, um, like the incorrect one of these. Um, so basically, what this does is um, this randomizes like. Um, so, so the first randomizer that we did was um, it was the Super Metroid randomizer, and with that one, um, we got changes such as just item locations and just overall like a couple of like just like pretty minimal changes overall aside from just um you know throughout the levels like certain things would be a little bit different um in this randomizer uh, or in um, the super mario randomizer we had randomized levels randomized you know like this and that um but overall like um the levels stayed mostly the same the physics stayed mostly the same like, there, w there wasn't anything too terribly crazy about that particular um, game and, like, what it randomized outside of just, like, kind of the order that things happened. This randomizer, um, it does a little bit of everything. Um, it actually took me a handful of times of um, testing out the, the different seats in this to kind of find um, this particular one seems to be working out all right. Um... But in terms of what has been randomized, um, like I said, like it, it's just so much easier just to say like what what isn't randomized on this. Um, so technically speaking, the jump gravity has been randomized, which um, this particular seed that I found is like the closest thing to one that resembles something stable and workable. Uh, it's it's basically the same physics as. Um, it's more or less like the base physics of the game, so um, this particular seed, we shouldn't run into any issues like that. Um, I don't know if any of you would pick up on this or not. Um, I don't know how much you guys have played Mega Man X. Um, this one has significantly beefed up the um, pellet shooter. Um, the charge shots actually, I think, do like a little bit less damage or something like that. Um, the medium shots, I don't know what the, like, I, I haven't, like, fully researched it, so I don't really know which of my three shots is, like, the most powerful. Um, but the pellets are definitely going to be winning over for most things that aren't bosses. Um, as you can obviously tell, this randomizer also has changed the color palette, um, with Mega Man looking more like a Super Saiyan, um, Zero sporting a very awesome red. So this could make things really funky as we go through the run. Um, the weapons have all, like, um, in terms of just, like, um, just overall, like, whenever you're, like, using the weapons, like, the ammo cost has been randomized. Um, in this particular one, I set it to where there is no shot limit. So, like, any weapons that we get, we can essentially spam. And I will go ahead and admit that whenever I was testing this out, I wanted to at least get to the dash boots first, so 
Um, as you'll notice, I'm picking Storm Eagle for this. And that is taking us to Chill Penguin. Um, so the boss weaknesses have been randomized, including but not limited to, um, you know, like just in terms of like, um, there's a thing called dash shooting in this game, which doubles the damage of your standard pellet shots. Um, some bosses are only weak to that, that I've noticed. Um, there was one where I had to actually get the fully upgraded buster to um, do any damage to one of the bosses. So this this randomizer fucks with a whole lot of different things. Uh, so this this particular seed, like I said, this was kind of um, out of all the ones that I tested. This was the one that seemed like um, the the first one I had wasn't bad, but like my health in that one was pretty much if I take a single hit from like basically anything, I'm dead. And I wanted to have at least a little bit of a leg up while I was doing this, so I decided I was going to try to find one that had a reasonable amount of health starting out. Dr. Light, you're looking a little bit, um... You kind of look like a slime creature. Um... There was one that was actually pretty good in terms of like weapon damage and stuff. Like my Buster was basically like destroying things in like a single hit. Um, but the unfortunate part was that it was um, it set it up so that my um, my jump ability was pretty much brought down to nothing. Um, dash speed has also um, been randomized. I'm going to try to point out like where the changes are in this since um, a lot of things like that might be a little bit difficult to kind of place out just because um, you know just because of just difficulty of translating um, game physics and whatnot. So I'll try to point that stuff out as I'm going through. Um, as far as I know items are not randomized as um, dictated by the fact that that capsule gave me the um, you know, like that, that gave me the appropriate upgrade, and uh, like I made sure of that before I started the stream. And one thing I am really excited to um, see kind of going forward on this is um, kind of what's coming up here next. So, this is obviously a very different take on Chill Penguin's level. Um, it actually makes him a little bit challenging, at least for this um, present moment. Mostly because I'm having a little bit of difficulty reaching him at all. Alright. But we do have a floor here, so... Oh yeah, I forgot, like, um, boss's health is randomized as well, which, um... This fight with him actually went a lot better than my, kind of, like, trial run of this... Alright, and from this point we are officially going off of the, um, the proverbial script of what I have done. So, um, just for giggles, I, I know it's not going to be the level that I want it to, but just, just because it could be funny, let's just go through the weakness chain. Oh, good. Launch Octopus, boss number two, this isn't going to be difficult at all. Oh, dude, the password theme. Um, there was one setting for the randomizer to quote-unquote punkify a lot of the music, but uh, whenever I tried that setting, it just really, like, ruined a lot of it. I just realized I should probably n not use my, um, my weapons right now. I feel like this guy is being particularly resilient to my pellets right now. Shit. 
I was trying to grab the health and then run away. Man, those guys are soaking a ton of damage. Of course, usually whenever I'm playing this game, I'm speedrunning it and usually just, um... Oh god. Let's see if I can score a little bit of health. Nope. Just gonna leave me out to dry, huh? Oh, this is gonna be fun. How many lives do I have before I can try again? <laughs> um, so, the amount of lives that you have starting out are also randomized. Good times! Alright, I've just gotta play it safe is what I've gotta do. Careful of the suck. Well, that was a very well placed shot. I seriously don't remember this guy being this tough, even with the buster. focus on dodging these things this time. Good news is his health upgrades fully um, deck me out now, so that's good. Alright, need to be super duper careful right now. Oh, fuck. Yep, he's completely immune to that. We did hit the midpoint, like, pretty much right there, so... God, are you just gonna keep sucking? Try charge shots, basically, is what I'm trying to do here. Okay, wow. <laughs> Apparently, he traded in his weakness for, um... He traded in his weakness for pellets for a super weakness to charge shot. I uh, didn't get a good jump off of that. Wonder how quickly the ship's gonna go down. Or just be straight up immune. Uh, so this is an example of what I was talking about earlier. Um, this ship is actually like um, completely immune to my standard shots. Um, let's see. So dash shots are the only thing that is um, doing damage to the ship itself. Super intense game of dodgeball that I just failed. Oh no, do I have to fight? Yep. Well, I thought that getting this health upgrade was gonna be easy. Thank you. 
close one. <sighs> I'll give the ship one more shot. really concentrated right now because this mashing is hell. Come on. Shit. I'm just gonna wait for the missiles. Shit! And then even after we do this, we're still gonna have to deal with the fucking snake too. Okay, we did it. Just gotta dodge these torpedoes. Just keep dodging them. Let that just go ahead and finish sinking down. Let's hope this guy just goes down without a fight. Yep, there we go. That makes up for pretty much all of that shit I had to do. myself a little tiny boost with my health. <sighs> we got another one coming up here. Man, they just boosted the health of the ships and the fucking um, submarines, but god, those guys just go down like paper. Okay, so ice may be his weakness, but that also means that... Oh, fucking hell. Let's just try to use Buster on him right now. Alright, this is going to be a fun boss fight. Uh, so, Ice didn't seem to do way too much damage to him, and on top of that, my Ice is taking like 90% of my um, ammo counter for it. So, let's just try to charge shot him. Okay, that one was my fault. I was trying to hold a charge while I was going over, and just kind of um, gravity took over from that point. Let's see if we can actually land the charge shot on him now. That's our next big accomplishment. Okay. Alright, I think this is going to be a boss I'm going to absolutely game over on because I really either need to cut off his um, tentacles and take away some of that or otherwise, like, I need something to deal with um, just all of the shit that he's throwing at me, which I do not have ready right now. God, there's just so much projectiles coming at me that I just can't handle. <laughs> Alright, we are getting close to our limit in terms of life, so we should be able to reset this and, you know, go into a different boss soon. The hardest part about this is, is, like, he starts the fight just by literally, like, charging at me. And I have to do everything I can just to kind of stay away from him. Oh god. Okay. 
Okay, just keep doing that. Yeah, that's fine. Damn it. Well, we got him halfway down. I can't really even do dash shots on him either just because of the layout of this level, but this is the um, my last shot at it, so we'll see what happens. I'm digging the purple kind of layout, though. That actually kind of suits him a little bit better than... Um, you know, like a little bit better than some of his uh, kind of original design does. Oh god. Just keep doing that. Oh no. Shit. He jumped right whenever I was going to. Okay. Well, Spark Mandrill um, proper stage, not so good. Uh, we've already done Storm Eagle. That takes us into Chill Pinguan. Let's go for Armored Armadillo. Let's just um, let's just keep going down the weakness chain. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, there he is. Oh man, the spooky music. And unfortunately I don't have the boomerang, so I don't think I can get this right now. I can get an extra life though. Oh god, and I haven't even crashed the airship in here yet. Which actually I think partially makes this stage a little bit easier. Um, so does, um, the flashing everything, though, so... Oh god. I mean, it's kind of late to say it now, but seizure warning. Oh god, this guy. Just die fast, just die fast. Damn it. Just die. There we go. Whew. Well, the good news is, is there is a health pickup that I can get here, so... I should be a little bit better off here in a moment. Damn it. Pretty much every time that I play this, it's my goal to try to make it through that as um, like easily as possible. And you can make that entire jump down and pretty much do a lot of different things to kind of make that work. Oh man, come on. I think this is actually a little bit of the, um, the jump gravity coming into play. Um, come on, this jump isn't that bad. What have you done to my jump gravity? Game, please, why? Wait, what? Oh. That was just me hitting the shoulder button, which speeds up the game. Ah, oh, god. If I can't get this before too long, I'm just gonna not worry about it, but... That is just so unfair. I'm just, like, that close. Like, my hands are literally touching that. This reminds me of uh, my Mega Man X2 speedruns, or I wouldn't call them speedruns. Alright, we can't get that. That is very unfortunate. So, like, that is an example of the jump gravity, because, like, I... Like, I'm not perfect at that, but I know for a fact that I can hit that. Well, let's see if um, Spark Mandrill is any less painful. Hopefully he's still weak to ice, but I mean, it takes so much random ammo now. Oh, shit. Oh my 
my goodness, that makes up for how many times I tried to get that health upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what what even was that? Was it even fair to him? Alright, well let's see what Launch Octopus's stage has been swapped with. Oh good, Boomer Koanger. Uh, definitely not gonna land Iceless if I can't even land, um, you know, like the traditional um, one that you should easily get. So, I'm not even gonna try that. Well, it does have Launch Octopus's music. Okay, I saw this guy's shield break during one of these, so I was just kind of curious. Um, one of the other things that the randomizer adds is um, some random effects with certain um, enemies. So I think that was one of them. One of the times that I played, you could actually kill these guys. So whenever you see me doing stuff like that, that is legit just me just playing around with it. Well, I have to admit, this is a little bit of a disappointing level for me now, because part of the reason I love this level is Boomer Koenger's music. So, okay, I guess we're just going on the slowest elevator ride in the world now. It, it, it's just really just going to go this slow? I'll, I will still find a way to die on this, were you not? Oh shit, <laughs> like, like accidentally dashing into things? Oh my god, my biggest enemy for this is gonna be impatience. Okay, I seriously just- oh no, not from a- not from below, shit! Okay, can I grab it? Okay, whew! Extraction successful. We are moving so slow that enemies um, that were spawning below or above me were deciding just to spawn from below. So we're just really just going to go this fast the entire ride. It's not just going to pick up in speed like it usually does. Okay, I just need to pay super attention to this, because if I fail at this point, it's going to be depressing. <sighs> it's nice to have a little bit of a break every now and then while you're, um... Oh god! Oh, that was fucking horrifying, elevator. That wasn't funny at all. Jesus Christ. Just like for a moment, it just sped up like hellaciously. I think we're past the worst of it though. Oh, don't be anything up above that's gonna crush me. As soon as I can get off that elevator, I am just. Oh my goodness. Jesus fucking Christ. All it took was just that one little, just like, hey, I'm here, I exist, speed up. <laughs> oh god. I'm definitely liking the randomization on this so far, though. I was not ready for that, and I'm so okay with that. I will be a little bit annoyed if I have to make this climb again, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough jump gumption. Come on. God, that is really funky. I think because, like, my falling physics are a little bit slower or something like that. Like, I can actually, like, before I properly run off a cliff... Yeah, like, I'm just legit, just, um... Like, whenever I'm running off of things... Like, I actually have a moment that I can kind of climb back on. That is kind of hilarious. Alright. 
what is normally like a really fast ascent of this tower is turning into just like this absolutely like treacherous just journey. Alright, we made it to the boss room. We have two weapons that we can use against him, and we have, oh, three lives now. Let's just figure out if Spark's going to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> he has one point of health! God, like, I'm sitting here worried to death about, like, what I'm gonna have to do for, um, weakness chain. It's just like, oh man, we did it. He's turning pink. Whew. That was a tough boss fight. Like, I'm, you know, like, it really took all, like, all of my knowledge, all my Mega Man know-how. Oh shit, which level was that in? I think it was Armored Armadillo. I'm gonna go ahead and try to go on my item collecting because I absolutely need to. Oh, and also if you see more than three pellets on the screen, that is because you are not seeing things and that is actually one of the other things that this does, is um, it allows that to happen. There we go. Goodness, that costs a lot to use. Wonder if it'll take him out in one hit. Nope. Well, shotgun ice. No, immune to that. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. We still need to go through the level. I forgot. Because we still need to pick up that extra heart container. Because apparently, I'm incapable of doing it on my own. Come on, I'm, I need to get like an energy at some point. But I also need to get out of the seizure tunnel as soon as possible. Yeah, of course you're weak to it. Oh, you liked that, didn't you? Okay, well, we have one shot with it. I'm going to be taking it a little bit slower through here to try to collect some ammunition. And hopefully not die in the process. Oh yeah, that's right, we have the um, energy tank as well. There we go. We have like two whole shots at this now. Well, shit. Uh, we can get that guy to respawn easy enough at least. Oh god, hella easy. I bet if we can get the turtle to respawn though, I bet he drops a little bit more. respawn. Piece of shit turtle. Am I just, like, destined to not get that? Like, am I just resigned to this fate? I just looking that way. Sure. 
Surely the turtle has respawned now. Jesus Christ, I guess not. Oh, man. This is the worst. <sighs> Maybe I'm just making too big of a deal out of this. Maybe I'm just, like, putting too much of an o overestimation on how much health I need. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out. Because unless I can get the boomerang to cooperate with me, I'm just not going to be able to get anything going. Uh, we can at least go... No, I'm not doing that elevator ride again, so we're just fucked on that one, too. Let's go see where Chill Penguin would originally take me. Oh, Flame Mammoth? Well, good thing we've already got Chill Penguin dealt with, so hopefully his stage should be frozen over. Oh, good. Sigma music. Oh man. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. Well, I guess I don't have to burst the blocks for the charge beam? Yep, X Buster. Considering, like, how much shit I've gone through over this, I'm glad that they threw me that bone at least. Alright, so now we've got the um, charge beam here. I wasn't about to let him just wing me with one of those. Oh, you asshole. Alright. Come over here and get our second E-Tank. Because fucking God knows we're going to need it. I am digging the boost speed, though. Oh, come on. There we go. It is fucking with my flow through this level, though. Oh man, what are they gonna do to Flame Mammoth's health? Oh man. I bet he's gonna have, like, a million or something like that. Nah, he'll probably. Oh. Well, that, that is literally going off the screen. I was kidding. Oh, okay, seriously, dude, like, I was kidding. Uh, so another thing that this randomizer randomizes, by the way, um, oh god, I wonder if that is traversable. Oh. Well, it doesn't seem to have killed me. I'm just going to play this safe. Just go ahead and jump back over this way. Jump back over this way. If you're ever finding yourself struggling with Flame Mammoth, this is a good way to kind of deal with him. Um, pretty much he always wants to be on screen with you. Shit. I didn't hit the ground as fast as I wanted to. Okay, so this might be our first legitimately difficult boss. Uh, this seemed to do some damage to him, so I'm just going to use this until it's up, and I'm just going to keep going through my we weapons.
Oh god. I, I keep wanting to go back to my old-fashioned, um... You know, the, in the invulnerability frames that I'm used to. Oh man, can we cut his, um... If we can cut his, um... Stupid horn off. Oh god. There we go. I don't know how much damage any of these are doing, but... Tried to scratch my um, my shoulder. Oh god! I think I've yep. I've used every single one of my weapons, so now it's back to charge. Oh, I, I can see like a fragment of his health bar went down. moment too short on that. Well, that seems to be doing a decent amount of damage with just the charge shot. Alright. You know, considering the fact that Flame Mammoth is really kind of a joke boss, like, other than this fight right now, like, it is kind of nice to see him getting some some sort of love. Oh god, don't hit that. Don't catch on fire. Alright, I think it's just like going to be like two more hits or something like that. Yeah, one more, one more good hit'll do it. We did it. We got him. I wonder if I wouldn't have done Chill Penguin. I wonder if that lava would have been real lava. That would definitely make this fight infinity times harder. Especially since I can't see his fucking health bar. Okay, so I have to keep in mind what I've done. I've done Storm Eagle, I've done Armored Armadillo. Wait, I thought one of these, I think Armored Armadillo was um, Launch Octopus, which I could not finish. N nope, that was right here. Okay, so these two, I've done. I believe these two, I've done. Yeah, this was Boomer Kawanger, this was Flame Mammoth. Let's go to Flame Mammoth stage, let's just keep working our way around, I guess. Oh, now we're at Armored Armadillo, which I'll check for the Hadouken, but I highly doubt it's going to be in there. And I mean, like, that's a 100% collection item anyway, so I will be honestly surprised if I get that. Oh wow, there is an actual hard limit on the amount of bullets that you can have on screen. So I set it to where, um... It technically is supposed to be unlimited, but um, it actually right there just now, um, like, it wouldn't let me fire anymore past a certain point. Oh my god. This guy should be dead by now. Oh, well, this is gonna make things really awkward for later. This one, it doesn't matter too much. Although I will miss both of those, but that's fine. I'm amazed. Usually I get hit. Well, usually I don't get hit there, so that kind of makes up for it. One of those filled up. Yep. Oh, I missed it. Okay, 
two, three, jump. Okay. I'm just gonna absolutely riddle him with this. And... Yes, I saved it. Whew! One more dig, and I would not have been able to have received that. That is awesome. <sighs> well, this is definitely um, putting a fresh twist on this game. That much is absolutely certain. Oh god, some rainbow effects with the waterfall over there. <sighs> well... No sense in not seeing if Spark is his weakness. Jesus fucking Christ. Just fall in the spikes and die instantly, please. You know, I can't. I physically cannot hit you there. Okay, he's not. I can at least wing him with these. Oh god. Whew! Not a very big health bar, but Jesus Christ, that was a very horrifying fight. Uh, so they do not have their traditional weaknesses, but... Um, this is getting me an opportunity to use some of the weapons in ways that I am not used to using them, such as using the shotgun ice at all. Alright, so we've made it through there. Let's see what Boomer Kawanger gives us. I think what I'm going to do is I might split this particular stream into two different parts. Um, I want to get through the eight robot masters and like do a little bit of collecting stuff. Um, and then for a second one, I want to do the Sigma stages just because I don't want to give myself way too much to kind of do. Plus my thumb is just like hating me right now because of how I play this game. Shit. Oh, come on. There we go. I had to jump a little bit higher than I'm used to. Hopefully this guy doesn't go too crazy. Um, or we could just go ahead and already have him nearly dead. Well, unless he's just gonna have like infinity last health or something. Oh god. Okay, that literally did like no damage to me. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce your damage by 50%. Also known as, maybe now we can actually survive with this low health bar. But wait, there's more. We can go down below into the water since we have finished off. Not the correct boss for this. Oh yeah, we're not. <laughs> we are not making that jump over to that heart container. That is just not gonna happen. Um, what? Well, that's what I get for being curious, I guess. Okay, so they just apparently, like, um, I guess, like, they couldn't get the scroll lock to work properly there. Um, and basically, like, I, I, I don't think that there was actually any rendered um, ground there because that's supposed to just, like, scroll the screen up and, like, turn that into a drop-off point. But since they couldn't easily do that, um... It just kind of looks like that. Oh man. I'm 
not gonna fall for it this time. You can't trick me twice. Of course, the moment that I say that is the moment that I get tricked twice. I know better than that. At least I should. Okay, um, with Sting Chameleon, we usually do what I call the Sting Chameleon dance with the, um, the boomerangs. This might actually be a little bit of a terrifying fight because I actually have to fight him semi-legit. I'm digging the, um, like the kind of going sundown kind of palette swap that's going on with the background. Oh, and um, I also like the Barney-colored um, Mega Man we've got going on. Okay, so like, I feel like I feel like Flame Mammoth is kind of the douche who stole most of the. Oh, hello there. Okay. Just... All right, there we go. Okay, so Chameleon is to Ice. I'm not going to remember this for the next stream, so don't even worry about it. We found our first weakness in the weakness chain. It's Chameleon to Ice. Which makes sense. Um, chameleons are cold-blooded creatures because they're reptiles, and no, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, so we have... We have made this round, I believe. We still have Sting Chameleon, and we still have Spark Mandrill, which are Launch Octopus, and Storm Eagle. This is going to be Storm Eagle. A very, very orange star Storm Eagle. Star Eagle? Oh god, um, seizure alert on those. Oh fuck. I was trying to be silly and foolish and almost paid for it. That guy was just being a dick and I almost paid for it. Oh god. I will try to get through this level as quickly as possible. I am so sorry. Oh goodness, this is gonna be a nightmare. Seizure warning from hell. Please, if you have seizures and stuff like that, do not, do not watch this next part coming up. I am so sorry. Oh god. Okay, it, it stopped. Thank fucking goodness. I can't promise it won't go away, but god, that sky. What is wrong with that sky? Oh god, the clouds. You know, Mega Man, you're 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 in a war to save the world, but um, I think you've already failed your mission there, buddy. Like, holy shit! Oh fuck! <clears throat> Fun thing about Mega Man games, especially uh, Mega Man X, which I think kind of has like the most um, kind of firm policy on it. Uh, seizure warning again. Um. Sometimes, like, whenever you're trying to do your dash jumps, um, every once in a while, okay, here comes the seizure part. Okay, it's gone. Um, whenever you're doing dash jumps, um, sometimes if you're not careful, um, you can hit the dash and then hit the jump. And what that does is it makes you just jump in the air like an idiot and you don't get the um, boost speed for the jump. But what you do get is a jump to your death because you're an idiot. Uh, the moral of the story is um, with your super muscle memory, just try really hard to make sure that you um, make sure that you are. Oh god, what the fuck? The fuck? I don't think that this is supposed to be like this. Um, just make sure that you're um, using your muscle memory to have your thumb hit the dash button before you hit the um, the jump button. 
Which for this game is especially hard because um, you also want to be holding charges for a lot of this. Um, I'm using a PS3 controller so all the buttons are decently grouped together. But it still hurts like hell. Oh god. Okay, so Storm Eagle's level wins the award for like the most fucked up level so far. I came down here just like... I just wanted to collect some of the shit down here, and then I ended up stumbling upon that being the actual path through. Like, at this point, I'm just kind of wondering, like, why was that change even made? Like, why? why? Oh god, I'm, I'm like, I'm a horrified now that I'm about to make, like, a leap of faith at any moment. Um, so I was reading up on the notes for this, and as far as I know, Storm Eagle's um, stage should be basically the same. From what I recall, his stage is unchanged. Um, his weakness may have changed. Even his AI may have changed, but the stage, yeah, looks like it's just normal. As we fly up into the piss sky. Okay. Ooh. Well. I'm digging his invulnerability frames. Holy shit, I fired the f I, I fired the flame for like just the second that it took to tick his damage and I'm already almost out. Oh god, I wonder if that could be used to some sort of effect somewhere. Okay. We have a shit million upgrades now. I think we have all of the weapons except for Launch Octopus. So let's go through here and let's get our revenge on this punk. The great thing about this is, is I can't exactly use my weapons on um, the stupid submarine because I have to save my weapons for the potential upcoming boss fight. I'm going to try to use the um, four times charge shot on him. Because at the very least I can wave clear the... Um... Well, that was a bad shot. There we go. Yep. Fortunately, the... Um... The four times charge shot seems to be at the very least as effective as charge if not more effective, so... Oh, I thought he was gonna puke me back for a second. I know he wants to. He's thinking about it. I can see it in his submarine eyes. Alright, we don't need to get any of this stuff because we already did that last... Fuck! Guess who's an idiot? It's me! I tried to go too quickly and now I have to redo the boss fight. I can't complain about the music though. Music's so good. Fuck! Asshole. Oh, fucking hell. 
Am I just gonna get a game over now? Like... Oh god. Let's see. Okay, I still have plenty of life left. If I get down to zero lives, I'm just honestly gonna see if I can kill this guy with weaknesses of some sort. Oh, he was thinking about it. Okay, fuck you. Now let's just be mega careful. Pun intended and unintended. Yeah, there we go. Skip over the top like that and we don't even have to deal with this stupid ass. Oh, give me something good. This first life is just going to be trying out our weapons. Um, I remember... I very vividly remember Ice doing jack and fuck all to him. I'm going to hate it if it's the boomerangs because I have so few of them. It's the boomerangs. Fuck. Okay. Uh... Oh, fucking hell, let's just... If I don't do this, I'm going to lose and I'm going to be super upset. Oh. I don't know if it's his weakness or not. Can at least keep his missiles in check. Okay, that's that. Um, shotgun ice didn't do anything. Oh, fuck. Okay, just spamming, spamming shots until I got back over. Two pellets worked. Whew. Okay, so let me think about upgrades that I still need to get. I've pretty much got a lost cause in terms of getting the, um, like, I can give it one more shot. Um, let's see, at the, um, Spark Mandrills level, I still need to go back to Chill Penguins level and pick some things up. I think that's actually the right music for that. Uh, we need to go back into Sting Chameleon's stage and just pick up the heart that's like literally right at the front door. Ooh, and the pallet's um, changed again because we um, beat the level and now there's water everywhere. Okay, I was about to say, I hope there's water everywhere. Alright, and that's literally all we can get from here. Let's go back to Chill Penguin. I can't believe I've actually gotten used to um, the level selects on here now. Don't mind using a little bit of those guys to farm some health. No, in my luck, all of the um, end bosses are gonna have like the shit million large health bars because the game decided, oh, let's just take them from all the normal bosses and give it to them instead.
That was a nice little clear out there. Once again, that was a... Um, so that jump is like a personal favorite jump that I like to make, but um, unfortunately the boost jumping and the boost physics are kind of really fucking me for it. Oh man. Okay, this was the correct one. Alright, we don't have any reason to be here now. I really don't want to ride Boomer Kwanger's elevator for that heart piece, so I might skip out on that one. Uh, we've already got everything out of Launch Octopus. Already got everything out of Storm Eagle. Ah, shit. Um, who was this? This was... was this Boomer Kwanger? Let's just go into the level, it won't hurt. No, okay, great. This is where I wanted to be. I'll give this one more good faith effort. That nice, ominous music to go with it. Yeah, now that this place isn't like a fucking, like, tech techno, like, seizure palace. It's actually a little bit tricky to get through here. Okay, so I can use anything on this guy. Except for... Okay, well... not really immune to that at all. Well, I was gonna charge up on him, but that works too. I'm full up on energy, so all that I need to do at this point is just make my run through here. That is such a tight jump to make, especially whenever your jump physics are fucked. Okay. So my theory is... Nope. Not that way. Yes! That worked! Awesome. And the worst part is that I have no clue how many of these I have and have not got. Okay, I got the one out of technically Chill Penguins. I got the one out of technically Flame Mammoth. I did not get that one because that one's going to be too hard. I did get that one. I just now got that one. Got that one. Uh, got that one. Got that one. So yeah, I'm literally only missing that one. <sighs> Fuck. Let's just go ahead and get it. I, I can pretty much negate like a biggest part of the challenge um, of this stage coming up, so... Can't catch me, I'm Sonic. Shit, they caught me. I'm not Sonic. So let's just go ahead and get this started up. <sighs> now we chill out on the elevator that is going to randomly accelerate at a hellacious speed at just some random point about three-fourths of the way up. This is going to be a hell of an easy way to farm those if those guys keep spawning like that. I'm just getting myself the hell out of the way of any of the spikes that I see because Jesus Christ, like... <laughs> I don't know if it's just like a random chance thing with this elevator or if it's just going to like, you know, like happen at the same spot, but like... That was probably, like, the most horrifying part of this, whenever it just scrolled way up out of nowhere. 
I'll happily farm these guys for health, though. That's one of the enemy types that actually gives, like, a pretty healthy amount. Awesome, I can do it in the reverse order as well. Alright, the elevator should scroll up here very soon. Oh, God. This is, like, a horror game right now. Like, I'm just waiting for the elevator. I think it's gonna be right here. Yep, oh, God, there it goes. Oh, fuck. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's right, because I have it set to where it's doing the unlimited shots thing. So it's actually allowing me to um, shoot with the shield up. That's going to be dangerous. Let's just get up here and let's just get what we're looking for and get the hell out. Oh shit. There we go. So there actually is a damage limit that those things can handle. That's good to know. Of course, I want to be up here before that happens. Alright. There we go. Uh, we don't have enough lives to do the Hadouken, and I'm not honestly sure if it's even going to be in the game. Uh, so I'm going to get back to the stage select screen here, and I'm going to call it for this half of the stream. Um, it'll probably get finished up a little bit later in the week. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and let's you know, like, let's figure out if Sigma stages are going to be a rough time next time. I'll uh, catch you guys later.